hello students welcome back to the seventh video of this playlist so in this video uh, we will be solving question number seven from the most recent pure mathematics 3 paper which is october 2024 okay so let's see uh, what's the question number seven from this paper is about okay here you go this is question number seven so the concept concepts behind this question number seven it's from you can say calculus and also in the later parts we need to have idea about graphs and transformations and yeah so calculus has been discussed in chapter number uh six seven eight yeah six chapter number six that is differentiation we need to have idea about differentiation in this uh, question and the later parts are related to what uh transformations of graphs and also yeah that's it that's all about the concepts behind this question number seven so let's get started with question number seven so right at the beginning you can see a figure figure three is given this is curve the, the sketch of curve c is given so the curve c has equation y equals to f of x where f of x equals to x cube times square root of 4x plus 7 the domain of f of x is x greater than or equal negative 7 over 4 fair enough okay so part a is asking here to show that the derivative that is the gradient function of f of x f dash x is equals to kx squared times 2x plus 3 over square root of 4x plus 7 where k is a constant to be found we just need to differentiate f of x okay so differentiate f of x okay so we need to differentiate f of x so part a f of x is what okay let, let's consider u right this is what uh, we need to use the product rule okay if i write f of x here it will let me do the differentiation easily comfortably okay x cubed times square root of 4 x plus 7 so x cubed times square root of 4 x plus 7 okay so we will consider one u the other one is what v okay so u equals to x cube and v equals to what 4x plus 7 to the power half okay so du over dx would be what 3x squared and dv over dx would be what half times 4 times what 4x plus 7 inverse half okay so uh, you will get a half of half times 4 this is what 2 over since it's inverse so we can write in the denominator square root of 4x plus what 7 so f dash x would be what e into dv over dx which is uh, 2x cube over square root of what 4x plus 7 u into dv over dx plus v into du over dx which is 3x squared times square root of what 4x plus what 7 okay now uh, we need to what uh, simplify it so take lcm square root of 4x plus 7 is the lcm here okay so you'll get 2x cube plus what uh, square root of 4x plus 7 so 3 x squared in the denominator of 3x squared there uh, there is no nothing there is only one so square root of 4x plus 7 times square root of 4x plus 7 that would give you 4x plus 7 okay so now f dash x simplified further you will get what twice of x cube plus 3 times 4 which is 12x cube plus uh, 3 times 7 which is 21 x squared over square root of what 4x plus 7 okay so f dash x would be 2x cube plus 12 x cube that would give you 14 x cube plus 21 what x squared over square root of 
for x plus 7. Okay. Now, what's the format they wanted in the question? Uh, kx squared times 2x plus 3. Okay. So, we need to take kx squared common from here. So, we can take what common? 2x squared, we can take common, isn't it? Uh, so if it's, uh, wait, 7x squared, we can take common. Because 1421 has common factor 7. So, you will get x plus 3. Isn't it? Fine. So, over square root of what? 4x plus 7. Okay? So, the value for k is what? 7. Isn't it? kx squared times x plus 2x plus 3. Okay, they got 2x plus 3. I, I wrote x plus 3. Oh, that should be what? 7 times 2, this is what? 14. So that should be not x only, that should be twice of x. And now it's perfect. So that's what exactly part A has asked for. Okay, so next is part B. So for part B, they are asking the point P figure uh, shown in figure 3 is the minimum turning point on C. Let's see. Where is point P? Okay, this is point P. We can see in the figure. So part B is asking to find the coordinates of what? P. Okay, so since this is a turning point, so at P, what? F dash X would be 0, right? At point P, F dash X would be what? 0. Okay, so for part B, what we can write? At P, F dash X equals to what? 0. So if f dash x is 0, then what we can write? Uh, we can consider what? Uh, 7 x squared times twice of x plus 3 equals to what? 0, right? So what we will get? x equals to 0 or what? x equals to negative 3 over 2, right? So you can easily uh, figure out from the diagram, from the figure. That point P lies on the negative x-axis, isn't it? Since it, it lies on the negative x-axis, so what we can write? The x-coordinate at point P is what? x equals to what? Negative 3 over, uh, 3 over 2. What? Negative 3 over 2. Okay, now we need the y-coordinate, y isn't it? So, if x equals to what? Negative 3 over 2, then what would be the y-coordinate? Y would be uh, f of x. That just put the x value into the equation of f of x. What was the equation of f of x? x cube times square root of 4x plus 7. So x cube. x cube would be 27 over 8 times square root of 4x plus 7. Right? So 4x, 4 times negative 1.5, this is negative 6 plus Seven. So this is basically what negative 27 over 8. So the coordinates of point P is negative 3 over 2 and negative 27 over 8. Okay. So since point P lies in the negative x-axis and also below the x-axis, therefore the both the x and y coordinates of point P is negative. And that's what they have wanted in part B of question number 7. Okay, next is part C. Part C is asking, okay, hence, uh, okay, find the range of the function g defined by g of x equals to negative 4 times f of x, where the domain of g of x is x greater than or equal negative 7 over 4. Hence, they said hence. That means we need to use our outcomes of the previous questions in part A and B, basically. Okay. So, we need the range of the function. Range. Okay. So, negative 4 times f of x. Let's consider at first f of x. If you see the sketch, for f of x, the range is basically what? The y-coordinate of point P we found. The y-coordinate is what? Negative. Uh, 27 over 8, if I'm not wrong. Yes, negative 27 over 8. Okay, 
So the range of f of x is f of x greater than or equal negative 27 over 8. But g of x is what? g of x is basically a transformed not uh, yeah transformed definitely this is a transformed function of f of x it is transformed it is stretched vertically by four units by four times and also it is being reflected in the x axis okay so since it is reflected on the x axis so the sketch would be for what uh, uh, g of x it would be exactly like this it will be a bit steeper Okay, it will go like this and then like this. So range is what? Range for g of x is below that what? Y value. So just find out that y value. That y value is what? Negative 4 times the y coordinate of point P. That's it. Okay, and x is greater than or equal negative 7 over 4. So it will keep going okay it will keep going that is it will keep decreasing from that point okay so uh, let's find out the maximum value for g of x this is part c uh, how can we get the maximum value maximum value for what g of x this is what is negative 4 times negative 27 over 8 which is basically 27 over 2 okay so what would be the range range would be g of x less than or equal 27 over 2 that's the range for g of x and that's what actually part c of question number seven has asked for okay the last part of question number seven which is part d the point q with coordinates half x coordinate is half y coordinate is three over two lies on c where is point q uh point q is not given there okay let me erase the part of part of part c okay the coordinates of q it's given but it's not uh what shown in the figure okay no problem so part d is asking to find the coordinates of the point to which q is mapped when c is transformed to the curve with equation y equals to 40 times f of x minus 3 over 2 bracket closed negative 8 transformation concepts of transformation okay so the x coordinate is what half so it is having this equation is basically uh, after trans transforming f of x both along the x-axis and what y-axis right so along the x-axis we know that the opposite thing happens that means uh, the they have subtracted 3 over 2 from x right so that means we will add 3 over 2 with the x coordinate that is half so half plus 3 over 2 that means the x coordinate will map to 1 uh, what 1.5 plus half this is 2 okay Con this is because the 3 over 2 it is within the bracket and whenever a constant is added or subtracted or even multiplied within the bracket transformation happens along the x axis and x coordinates will get changed due to that okay so the x coordinate will map to 2. The x coordinate of point Q will be 2. What about the y coordinate? Y coordinate will be what? It is multiplied by 40, right? Multiplied by 40, which is outside the bracket of the function. That means 40 times 3 over 8, which will give you uh, 5 times, which is 15. 15 minus 8 is what? 7. So, x coordinate will be mapped to uh, 2 okay q prime would be what 2 and the y coordinate would be 3 over 8 times 40 which is 5 times 3 15 minus 8 that is 7 this is the point 
that on which to which a point Q will be mapped to due to this transformation of f of x and that's what exactly part d of question number seven has asked for and that's the end of question number seven fine